Hi, John here at Toys Bag Zen. Happy Holidays. Today in this video, we're going to be checking out these figures. I'm going to be making a Starbuck cape, which luckily for me is the exact same cape as Adama, except in a different color. You can see here on the left in the picture. So I'm going to be using Adama's cape to make Starbuck's cape, and we're going to be doing a little bit of sewing. So stick around. So looking at this Commander Adama cape here, we can see that it's kind of a see-through blue color. And my mother-in-law, she does a lot of sewing. She has a knitting company. And so she helped me out with this quite a bit. I made a bunch of mistakes at first. But uh, you can see how this is constructed. There's a couple seams near the shoulders and so what I'm going to do is undo these seams around the neck. I'm going to see if I can make a pattern, but I'm going to take this apart first so that I can at least get it flattened out. And then I'll make a pattern, and then if anybody wants the pattern, just email me and I'll send you a scan. So here we go. This shape is symmetrical, so I only need to go this far as taking it apart. I really did not want to take an original cape apart, but I think I can sew it back together and it'll be fine. So here we have, we have the cape folded in half, and this is good enough. I can just put it on a piece of paper and I'm going to make a bunch of dots to give me kind of the profile of the cape. We'll cut the paper out and use that as our template to make a new cape. Snick the nuts, la 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 la, snick the nuts, la 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 la. <laughs> hey, it's all done. Looks like some type of cape that I'm making for our figures. Okay, so here's our shape. I'm just going to test it to see if it's the right shape with our cape. And it looks really good. Just got it flattened out. That's perfect. So the material that I'm using is this high street chiffon crepe. It's uh, a material that's really similar to the material that is used for the original cape. You can see how you can kind of see through it. Now, later on in this video, I'll explain, uh, after talking to my mother-in-law about making this cape, what the material actually is made from. 
I also have some elastic that we're going to use to go around the border of the cape and it's also used to go around the figure's neck to hold the cape around his neck. Here's the information here on the bottom. Now the Adama figure, of course it's aged, the white trimming is aged, and the thread is aged. So I could use the white or I could use the kind of tan color. I'm going to use the tan color to make it look a little bit more aged. Here's our piece of paper. You can notice that I've folded it in half on the long edge. You do not want to fold it on the other side because then the cape will be backwards. So just cutting it out, this should reveal our cape shape here soon. I've also painted a couple 3D printed Starbuck guns and I've painted those black and we're going to let those dry. I've re-sewn Adama's cape. You can see how it looks and I mean it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty much exactly the same as it did before I took it apart. It didn't take a lot of stitching involved but there was a little bit of trial and error in there and I'll talk about that as we're sewing. Uh, the brown cape. Now I started sewing the cape using this elastic and the elastic is too rigid. I didn't really like the looks of it. It was really hard to work with. So I'm going to start from scratch again and you can notice that the edging on Adama's cape it's more of a it's more of a ribbon or a cloth so I think that'll allow the cape to flow downwards a little bit better. And I think this stuff here is not going to work. So I have a couple ribbons that I have. I already have this, but it was a little too shiny and not quite the right look. So I went to a craft store and I found this. You can see the dimensions here. This is going to look much better and I think it's going to be a little bit more in tune with what the original one looked like. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a back stitch. What you do is you go forward a stitch and then come back through the other side and do a stitch and then you do another stitch through the front in the same area where the stitch was in the back. That way you get a nice continuous seam which is really strong. The next thing we do is we take those two corners on the shoulders and we fold them inwards together and then we have to sew all that together. This is called a dart. This is how you make a dart in sewing when you're making patterns or making clothes. And what it does is it creates almost like a round shape to the cape so that it, it does like a loop around his neck. So there's two of those. There's one on the right shoulder and one on the left shoulder. And so I'll be sewing that. It's pretty tricky to sew this all together while holding those corners so that you can sew all the pieces. And it's almost like it's almost like three layers of the chiffon along with the ribbon. So it's kind of difficult, but it worked out pretty good. And you'll see here 
at the end. Now I'm still going to be using the elastic that I was trying to use at the beginning of this project, but I'm only going to use it for around his neck. This is going to hold the cape around his neck. So all you need to do is sew a couple stitches on both sides of the neck. And then here you go, you get the cape. And I think it looks really good. It looks original to the cape that Adama had. And I have seen the original Starbuck cape and it looks just like this. So I think that looks fantastic. The only thing I probably would change on this if I was to do it again, I found out that the fabric that was originally used, my mother-in-law told me this, as soon as she looked at it, she told me what it was. It's actually lightweight jersey knit fabric. And they use it for underneath uh, the lining underneath wedding gowns and you might even see it on shears uh, for window drapes and stuff like that so that would be the material that you'd want to get if you want to have it exact but I think it looks really good these guys look great on display now and uh, they've got their guns in their hands and I'm super excited to get these on the shelves on display and I have other Battlestar Galactica videos too, so check those out in my library. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you've enjoyed this, leave a comment down below. So stick around, stay tuned, and happy holidays. Bye.